Has salt been given a bad rap? Let's bring NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, in with more on this. Nancy, hey, Matt. good morning to you. So this study says that a healthy person... For years has been that we've made too big a deal out of salt for normal, healthy people with normal, healthy kidneys. The Institute of Medicine came out last year and said 2,300 milligrams. The American Heart Association has always skewed very low, 1,500 milligrams, which I've always felt is really hard for the average American to stay on. This study is basically saying, look, you can go higher, and if you're healthy, you're going to be fine. And you know, you raise the question about dropping too low. Yeah, what if you go below 2,300 milligrams? Blood pressure, and you don't get enough salt, you can feel lousy. So for people who are over 50, African American, bad kidneys, diabetes, high blood pressure, you're a select group. You have to watch how much sodium. But if you're normally healthy, I think you can back off a little bit and relax. Let's talk about mammograms, another health mm. topic this morning. In a study published in JAMA, the right. Journal of the American Medical Association, looked at 50 years of research on this. The economic hit to the American health care system and the responsibility we all have to play. Just to highlight the number, period have a false positive at least one time. Yes, which is significant. You know, my family history is a risk factor. What should I do? Those three things are the biggest drivers. All right, important information. Two big controversial things. I want everyone to know it's Matt.Lauer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Nancy does not. Actually, Nancy's going to be taking your questions. News on Twitter and Facebook. Nancy, thanks, Matt. Thanks.